Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video doing an unboxing, review, and first time testing of the Our Place Home Cook Duo as well as their steamer accessory. For those of you that are not familiar with Our Place as a brand or the Home Cook Duo, Our Place is a company that focuses on designer cookware sets that use sustainable production processes as well as non-stick ceramic coatings that are healthier and avoid harsh chemicals or dangerous substances that you think of with traditional cheaper non-stick coatings. Additionally, Our Place has designed their cookware sets like the Home Cook Duo, which encompasses the Always Pan, as well as their Perfect Pot, to be combined with their different accessories so that you can replace all the items in your traditional kitchen cookware sets. And so by purchasing something like the Home Cook Duo, you can avoid needing three, four, five, six different pots or pans that you traditionally would buy with a traditional cookware set. And so it really saves space if you have limited space in your kitchen. Two, it just creates in a kitchen environment that's just more simpler and more elegant because you don't have as many items. And you can really focus on utilizing these two pots for everything that you need for your cooking. And so what we'll do in this video is first we'll walk through how I ended up getting these uh, this set just because I think the background as a consumer standpoint is useful for you as a viewer. Secondly, we'll walk through unboxing each of these showing you what comes in the box. Um, specifically, I have the Always Pan in the spice color as well as the Perfect Pot in the blue color and then we have the steamer accessory as well. And then lastly, what I'm planning on doing is walking through my typical meal prep for the week um, because I usually create five salads as well as five dinners for the week when I'm working. And rather than using my usual cookware set, we're gonna focus on utilizing these and only these items to cook everything for my meal prep. Okay, so first off, I did wanna discuss how I ended up getting the Our Place Home Cook Duo as well as their steamer accessory because I think it's important for you as a viewer and a potential consumer. And so a couple months ago, I was in the market for a new cookware set because I previously had a cheap cookware set from Walmart uh, for about three to four years and the nonstick coating was finally wearing through. And so at that time, I was doing a lot of research into the consideration of either kind of repeating the process of buying cheaper cookware sets and replacing them on an ongoing basis or basically in taking all that money and investing up front in a more expensive set like a Lecra set enameled cast iron set um, with the idea that the enameled cast iron set would last way longer and would not need to be replaced uh, on an ongoing basis. If you look into Lecra set sets, they're about $1,600 and one that's really expensive as far as cookware because I don't really cook exotically or extensively. Um, but two, I did not really have the space in my apartment to store 10, 10 items in my cabinets safely for enameled cast iron um, because if you if you store them inappropriately they'll get chipped and damaged and I'd potentially waste the money. And so in the process of doing research for alternative cookware sets or different saucepans, all that sort of thing, um, I actually came across the Our, Our Place Home Cook Duo and seriously, seriously considered purchasing it. However, I ultimately chose not to because when I looked online on YouTube reviews, a lot of people were reporting that uh, it beyond like the unboxing video, when you do like two to three year follow-ups, um, they were saying that the nonstick surface no longer would function appropriately. And they felt that they just essentially wasted their money on this product because it's two to $300. And they had the expectation that it would last much longer. Um, so through my YouTube channel, I actually reached out to our place directly and asked them about this product and kind of just told them this story exactly as I'm telling you now. And they actually reassured me that their expectation is that the Our Place Home Cook Duo should last two to three years because the nonstick ceramic surface, when you cook with it, essentially sheds a little bit um, and will wear with time. And so their expectation is it's gonna last two to three years and then at that time it'll likely need to be replaced. And so I, thought, I felt like the YouTube reviews online where people were doing follow-ups and kind of judging it inappropriately or negatively were kind of unfair to the company because they have this expectation it's gonna last two to three years but people are really setting the benchmark further and it just didn't seem fair to them. And so ultimately they offered to send me the Home Cook Duo as well as their um, steamer accessory to try out and do a review on it and kind of just determine how its functionality is and kind of determine whether it really functions 
as they describe. And so what we'll do in this video is I'll unbox the Always Pan, which is gonna be in the spice color, as well as the Perfect Pot, which is in their blue color, as well as the steamer accessory. Um, we'll walk through everything that comes in the box. We'll show you the pots, up, or we'll, we'll show you them up close. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through my typical meal prep that I do on a, every Sunday, um, which is basically cooking um, or prepping five salads for lunch as well as five dinners for dinner um, and rather than using my usual cookware set that encompasses i think it's six items um, we're only going to use the home cook duo and nothing else and so really this is going to judge and test whether this can function and replace my current cookware set but two we're going to just get a general sense of how it performs and then later on what i'm going to do is i'm going to cook with this on an ongoing basis and we'll just see how it performs in the long run just so that you can get a clear like transparent understanding of how these perform and kind of whether it's worth investing for you um, kind of from your perspective okay so the our place home cook duo is actually going to encompass two separate items one item is going to be the always pan which is in this box this is going to be their spice color and then the other item in, in the home cook duo is actually the perfect pot and this one's going to be in their blue color um, you can definitely check out online their different color patterns um, but they've got a wide variety of color options and they're actually really really beautiful and cool looking if you look at the photos online and so what we'll do is we'll start with the always pan and get this open and so this is what the box looks like. it has the o our place label on the front um, actually has a pull tab to open it and this is what the inside of the box looks like and so at the top here it says welcome to our place we saved you a seat it says at our place we believe the strongest connections are made over a home cooked meal and then we'll look down at the actual box contents and so this is what comes in the box um, you actually have a sponge for cleaning it so it says on here you might need this it's a natural sponge times one made for scrubbing away um, at the dishes you left to soak in the sink soak sponge in water and activate to get scrubbing so that's one thing um, then they've got a little information packet so they've got a card for um, just like their branding labeling it says welcome to our place we're really glad you're here at our place we believe in the power of home cooking to bring people together. Our mission is to create products and experiences that celebrate cultures, honor traditions, and cultivate connections. We saved you a seat. And so that's what that says. So that's pretty welcoming. And then this is, um, this is basically an information sheet um, on actually like what the functionality of the Always Pan. I'm not going to read everything, but I'll highlight the main points. So it says um, the Always Pan be, can be used for just about everything. You can get steamy. You can add water to it. You can easily boil items on it. Um, it'll actually have a space for resting your spoon on the side. Um, the lid will actually have a twist lid where it'll attach to it, and so it doesn't fall off or shift. And then it actually has a lip on the side as well where you can pour out water or contents within it if you need to and then on the back here it says one before ob obviously before using it hand wash it um, then while you're cooking um, it does recommend using only low to medium heat um, if you use higher heat it will potentially damage it and impair its functionality in the long run so you really want to focus on using low to medium heat and then as far as fat goes it says one to two tablespoon of high um, uh, high smoke point oils is what you want to use. So you want to use limited oil content as well as you want to make sure that you use an oil that has a high boiling point so that you don't um, have it burn off onto the specific, onto the pan. And then for cleaning up, it says that they recommend using soapy water uh, with the ge a gentle sponge, no steel wall, or um, and obviously skip the dishwasher. And so these are high points that you want to know when purchasing or use, using this pan. When I actually spoke to the company, they said that if you take advantage of the or highlight using uh, not using the dishwasher hand washing it avoiding the high heat and using the oils that optimizes the pan in the long run and will create the lo like longest longevity or lifetime of the pan um, but those are the main highlights from that um, now we'll actually take out the pan it actually says here it says on the bottom here you can't read it but it says keep going there's more and so we'll just take a look over here um, on this end um, but here, so here's, I guess, the, the lid. So this is what the lid li looks like. So this is their spice color. Um, it's this pinkish salmonish color. Um, the lid actually has a handle here on the top. Um, it does corkscrew off. 
which I, is pretty cool. I'm just exploring this, to be honest. So there's a hole here where this can come off. So if you ever need to clean it, you can put it back on. Um, but that does screw there. All right. And then once we have it screwed, and then on the bottom here, as you can tell, there's a lip as the, it described where you can actually um, pour out of this or release steam through this area. So there's steam can be released here or you can pour actual contents. And then the lid actually twists as well. So this is the inside of the lid as far as what it looks like. So that's a pretty cool color. I was actually surprised because I knew it was the spice color. So when I saw this lid and that it was green, I was like, that doesn't really make sense. Um, but it definitely is the, the spice color. So that's the lid. Um, and then we'll actually open this up and take a look at what comes inside. And so bear with me. Um, so inside here, you actually have the always pan. And so what it says here is your new nesting steamer basket for vegetables, dumplings, and more. And so they, it comes with a steamer basket like this, um, which is a cool feature. It's one of their accessories that they highlight because this allows you to use it as like a stock pot. So you'll see later, but for my meal prepping, I do a lot of like steaming of vegetables. We're steaming broccoli. And so I use a stock pot and boil it that way. So this is essentially replacing that functionality entirely and actually comes with it you don't have to purchase it separately so that's the the steaming basket for that um, then inside here it says uh, the always pan is designed to help you do more with less so that's the real highlight is the fact that by using the home cook duo the always pan and the perfect pot you don't have to purchase all these other items um, so this is the actual always pan. So this is what it looks like. Um, this is the spice color. So on both, it, it's got that kind of gray inside the nonstick coating as far as the ceramic coating. Um, on the edge here, there is a handle so you can lift this. It does say caution um, handle um, with care when uh, cooking because it may potentially be hot. And then on the inside surface here, there are two lips. There's gonna be a lip here for pouring as well as a lip here. So these are gonna be openings on the side that you can use for steam or releasing contents as far as spilling it out. Um, then another nice feature about this is it does have a built-in um, rack for the handle, uh, or rack for the, uh, the, 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 I guess, spoon or spatula that comes with it. We'll show you that. Uh, but you can rest it directly on here. And so that's the actual pan. Um, on the bottom here, it has a, like a stainless steel design on the bottom and it says our place, um, but that's what it looks like, okay? And now we'll just pull out um, this, which is their band, I don't know what the, it's the, for nudging, flipping, smushing, and testing, or tasting, that's what it says there. Um, but basically it's, a, I believe it's bamboo, um, but this is their bamboo like spatula that comes with it. So it has a hole in here that you can use with the actual always pan. So if you look here, sorry, um, you can rest it directly on to, here to store it, which is a really nice feature because you don't have to make a mess. You can store it right there. You don't have to worry about kind of smudging stuff all over your, your stove, which is what I do all the time. Um, but you can flip it that way, flip it that way, and store it that way. Uh, we'll just check if there's anything else in the box contents. It does say something here. It says, this box is reusable. Some of our um, fave ways to repurpose it include art projects, cat beds, storing um, top secret family recipes, garage sales, signage, uh, for all the pots and pans you, you're giving away. And when you're ready to put uh, part with it, it's 100% biodegradable and has been thoughtfully designed to minimize waste. So that's pretty cool. I appreciate that because um, we have to really focus on our environment and limiting waste. So that's everything in the box. So we'll just really sh quick show you everything that came in this. Um, so you have the actual bottom of the waste pan. Um, you have the steamer that comes with it, okay? And then you have the lid, all right? And then you have the spatula. So this is what it looks like um, in the spice color. So it's really elegant. It is really light too. So compared to the, I have a cast iron pot that I ultimately purchased. This is like not heavy at all. Like you can jostle this around and it's not heavy, which is nice because you can maneuver it really easily and it, it, it's just not heavy. So, um, but that's a really cool design as far as look. That's the spice color. Um, this is what it looks like with the spatula on it. Um, so that's the always pan. Um, and now what we'll do is we'll unbox the perfect pot. Okay, so bear with me because this box is a little bit tall for the, the video, but um, essentially the box is the same. It says our place on the front for the perfect pot. This is gonna be their blue color. So it's a little bit of a different color, uh, but it has that pull tab to get it out. And I, I, I would assume the box is going to be very similar to what we just went through.
here. So we'll just kind of walk through it just so you get the full experience. But it says, welcome to our place. We saved you a seat. And then it says the same thing that they, uh, the strongest connection is made over a home cooked meal. And then what we'll see is the actual inside of the box. And so very similarly, you've got an insert with an information booklet. And so this is the information booklet for this one. Um, it actually has a recipe here that says Jessica's creamy white bean seed is soup. So it has everything for that. Um, it has all the recipes. Um, and then let's see what we got. And then here is actually the insert or information about it. And so we'll look at this real quick. So it says, um, at last, a truly perfect pot. It's called the perfect pot because um, it does everything and then some. Meet your uh, oven ready, dinner party size, one uh, pot wonder design uh, to inspire new recipes, be at the center of big gatherings and make home cooking easier and more playful or joyful, sorry. Um, so that's what that says there. Um, then it essentially walks through how to take care of it or as far as care. Um, so it says uh, perfect pot, um, pots need love too. So it has a steam release indicator on the side. It has the lid, it, it, lid. it has a strainer indicator. Um, it has a roasting or steaming rack. Um, it'll have handles that do get hot. It does have a two way um, nesting spoon that goes on the one end here, very similar to the always pan. And then it I'll have a pour spout. Um, and then let's see what else it says. It says, first things first, give your perfect pot and accessories a quick hand wash before you get cooking. Um, it can stand heat, your perfect pot. Um, is uh, in roasting rack, rack or oven ready and can go up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, however, no broiling um, because that can damage it. Um, and then uh, you can use it on the oven or stove top without issues. Um, but however, it does recommend using oven mitts. Um, it does say that it's uh, slip sliding away um, using one to two tablespoons of high smoke um, point oil uh, is all you need for this. Very similar to uh, the always pan. And then when on the stovetop, ultra conductive aluminum um, means uh, you should use low to medium heat. So as very similar to the always pan, use low to medium heat. Um, use an oil that's high boil or high smoke content because, or high smoke point um, so that you don't stain or damage the actual surface. And you can use it in the oven up to 425 degrees. Um, does stay here that it's for bath time. Um, stick to hand washing only. Avoid putting hot uh, the hot pot in cold water because obviously you'll damage it and to release any sticky things you can use baking soda um, that is one thing that they recommended when I spoke to the company is that if you have issues as far as cleaning it or something gets stuck just apply baking soda and that does seem to work well with boiling water and then you can wipe it very carefully um, and then keeping a cube uh, it says wipe any spills on the outside to avoid it staining on the outside and then don't forget the spoon hand wash the spoon and towel dry only um, so that's what it says here and then it has some tips and tricks um, and we'll just not go through that just for the length of this um, but that's a cool introductory booklet on it it gives you all the information you need um, as far as care and all that sort of thing um, very similarly you get a natural sponge that comes with it which is nice because you can clean it easily and then it's got this insert here and it says um, everything you need to know is where the insert was and then meet your new perfect pot so we'll just pull this out um, so I like the packaging. The packaging is really cool. It's just like like you want to open it. It's like open me type of thing. Uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, but this is like um, very similar color pattern as far as the ceramic nonstick coating. Um, you've got grooves on the outside here for steam release, and then you've got an area here for um, pouring it out. So very similar to the always pot. Uh, I think the always or the always pan didn't have these edges here, so that's a little bit different. And then this is the blue design, blue color. So it, it's a really dark blue. Um, I was actually, based on the photos online, I was actually anticipating this to be like a lighter blue, like a babyish blue. Um, but this definitely is like a more of a, like a navy design, um, darker than you would expect. And let's see if this, uh, yeah, very similarly, the, the lid handle will pop off. So if you want to take it off ever and clean it, you, or you get stuff underneath it, you can do that easily. But it's just a screw on. And remember that this is oven safe. Um, I believe the always pan is not, but that's what the lid looks like. I'm I'm just gonna move stuff out of the way. Um, next up, we're gonna have the spoon here, so we'll just open this um, here. 
And so this spoon's a little bit different compared to the one that came with the always pan. It's an actual spoon. Um, it does have some grooves on the back here so that you can actually rest it on the, the pot when you actually, uh, when we open it. Um, and then we'll look at here. So it's a uh, built-in strainer. It says you use stirring or stirring. Uh, yeah, the spoon, it says very similar to the other one. Um, and then here's the new roasting rack or the new pot. So you act, it actually comes with a, a new roasting rack. So you've got a rack that comes with it. And so here, if you want to roast with this, um, you can put things directly on here. I'd have to look into this because I don't usually cook that way, but this is the roasting rack that comes with it. Um, it does have, so it feels like um, silicone on the bottom here. Um, there's like a silicone, like rubber type of material on the bottom lip here that inserts directly on this. Um, I'm not, yeah, and it pulls on and off, so that's that. Uh, so if you ever want to take it off, I'm not entirely sure if you can cook with this. Um, I would assume that if they put it on like this, it is safe, um, but there might be some warning. Um, but that's the, the roasting rack that comes with it. Um, Right. And then what it says here is one perfect pot for a million one pot wonders, whether you're feeding yourself or a table, table full of chosen family. Um, so let's take a look at this pot. I'm actually super excited about this because this is pretty cool. So I'm just going to take this out of the box because I think all the rest of the box is empty. So yeah, it's empty and it's very similar. It has a kind of labeling as far as like how you can use the box. Um, but this is the perfect pot. This thing is light. So literally I can hold this with two fingers and it's light. It's like, but it's like solid. So it's not cheaply made, but it's like a light aluminum type of material. So it's something that's not heavy. Like if you got an enamel cast iron, like what I was discussing with that Crescent, this would be like, probably like 10 times the weight and you'd have to lug it with two hands and it just makes it more dangerous as far as the heat and like having to hold it and move it and slosh around and stuff like that. So I like the fact that this is light, um, but it's got the ceramic coating on the inside. Um, it is pretty deep. So as you can tell, it's, it's probably like, I don't know, like eight to nine inches deep. So that's nice because it basically you can use it for whatever. And then there's a lip here as well on the edge here. Um, as far as the color and the look, it's basically, this is what it looks like. Um, it does warn you about the handles. Use oven mitts, obviously, because you don't want to burn yourself. And then the bottom has the R place and the stainless steel bottom. Um, so let me just put the lid on. We'll put the uh, the roasting rack in here. So that's what the roasting rack looks like inside of it. So you put, put things directly on it. It allows anything to drip down and get on the bottom so you can kind of drain it off. Um, so that's a cool feature. And this is what it looks like with the lid. And so you can just put it in utilize either the opening here and get it lined up there or you can use the strainer so if you're cooking pasta or something like that you can strain it without having to worry about the noodles coming out of this and there are indicators here on at each edge so you can actually twist it very easily so that's a cool feature too. I think this is just really well thought out like the overall design and then the spoon itself it can actually rest directly on here so that's exactly what it looks like and so that's a perfect pot I mean that's a pretty cool design you can tell that this company has really thought about this um, so that's the perfect pot here's the, the actual um, always pan and so that's what they look like side by side this is the blue color this is the spice color and then real quick we're gonna open up the uh, the steamer accessory just because that's something that they sent with this that actually will work with either of these items okay so so here's the steamer. This is actually an accessory that you can purchase separately and utilize with either the always pan or the perfect pot. Um, and the company really highlights the fact that they have all these different accessories that you can combine with these and really make your entire like home cooked duo be the sole item you need for the kitchen. And so definitely check out the other accessories, but we'll take a look at the steamer. Um, very similar as far as packaging, there's going to be a pull tab here to open it. Um, and we'll just get this open. And so, sorry, it like stuck to my hand. Um, so we'll pull this out. Sorry, it's a little bit twisted. And so this is what comes in it, very similar to the other, um, other design. So um, it'll have in our place information packet, give you your information about it. So it says, let's get steaming. It says spruce steamer, steaming, steamers. Um, our spruce steamers are lovely made by Chinese artisans in an age old craft pa passed down um, from one generation to the next. Each steamer is cut, woven and assembled entirely by hand, meaning no two are alike. We like to think that uh, centuries of culinary tradition they carry with them uh, will be uh, felt 
felt felt by all who eat at your table. So that's appreciative. Um, and then it says care tips, um, hand wash only, no dishwasher, soapy water and a sponge will do the trick. Skip bleach, abrasive sponges or harsh detergents. Um, make sure you let your steamer air dry completely before storing it in a well ventilated area. Um, that's because steamers like this can get mold or get um, bacteria on it. So you do want to be careful. Um, and then this is what it looks like, shows how it functions. Um, and then let's see what it says here. So clean slate, um, give your steamer a quick hand wash and let it air dry completely before cooking. It's perfect for tender dumplings, fresh tamales, um, never mushy vegetables, perfectly cooked fish. The list goes on. Um, water time, it says fill your always pan with two to three cups of water. Uh, place over um, a medium flame and drop your steamer into place. Um, and then it says, uh, may we suggest use a liner, think parchment paper, cabbage leaves, or in a pinch, a uh, silicone cupcake liner to prevent sticking. So um, you can put a liner down and it prevents it from sticking directly to the steamer so your stuff doesn't get stuck. And then last thing, check your water level frequently. Heating an, um, an empty pan, is, it will damage the nonstick surface. So um, when you're using the Always Pan, I'm not entirely sure if this will work with the Perfect Pot. We'll have to check out the sizing. Um, you do want to make sure that there's water because the second the water evaporates, it's going to heat up the pan excessively and that'll go beyond like their low to medium recommendation. Um, and then, uh, what else? That's really it. Um, so that's all the information from the information packet. That's pretty useful. Um, here it says perfect for all your dumpling turning and uh, eating situations. So I'm assuming a handy pair of cooking chopsticks to go with your new steamers. So this is pretty cool. I, I gotta say like this company really has it down as far as the packaging, the delivery. It makes it like an enjoyable experience as far as unboxing it. You feel like they just appreciate the, the customer experience and what you're purchasing. Um, and I appreciate that in a company because it really just says like they're really thinking about who they're selling to and what they're buying. So I'm trying to get these out, but um, so these are, yeah, there should be another, but it's kind of stuck in there. So I'm just gonna rip this a little bit. So as you can tell, so it's two large pairs of chopsticks. Um, they're a little bit thicker, and but it'll be easily um, usable as far as this. And then here we have the actual steamer itself. Um, and so we'll, we'll t take a look. It says this isn't the, this bag isn't like other bags. It's biodegradable and compostable. So that's pretty cool. And what, oh, there's actually something in it. So um, the box is empty. So I'm going to get rid of that just to save space. We'll look at the steamer in a second, but what comes in here is what it says is we sealed your paper liners to help them stay in tip top shape. When you're ready to start steaming, we recommend you put one of these liners down to keep your steamer in tip top shape to enjoy. Um, so it actually comes with a set of liners. I'm just going to open these just so you can get a sense. Um, it does have like a rip away tab, but they're essentially like a parchment paper type thing and it does have vents in it so you can get air or steam through it and you can just rest it in it. Um, so I don't know how many are in here. One, two, three, four, five, probably like 15 or so. I don't know. I'd have to check into it, but that actually comes with it. So that's that. And then let's look at the actual steamer. So this is what the steamer looks like. It's a single steamer. Um, it looks like it's a bamboo design. Um, basically there's all these grooves. It's really cool looking on the bottom. Um, and this is what the edges look like. Um, to be honest, I have not used one of these in years. My mom used one of these growing up. Um, my dad used to go to Japan all the time. So we always ate like Japanese culture and we used steamers for dumplings and random stuff all the time. Um, and my mom used it. However, I haven't use this for years. Um, what I'll do in this video is I'll actually use it just with broccoli to steam it just to get a sense of how it works. Um, but this is what the steamer looks like. And real quick what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull over um, the always pan and see how it functions as far as fit on this. And so let me pull up the uh, the two other items in here. Um, but basically it just fits directly onto the lid here. Um, it, it does slide slightly, but there is a groove where it won't fall off unless you kind of jostle it. And then the lid itself can go directly on and fit onto it. And so that's what it looks like with it actually on. So it fits, it works really well for that. Um, so that's with the always pan. And then real check, quick, we'll just double check and see if it works with the um, perfect pot just to get a sense. I don't know if this is, makes sense to use, but, um, and it actually fits. So if you can tell here, um, 
it does fit very similarly, so the, it, it is interchangeable as far as that. You can use it with the perfect pot, so there's no issue there. Um, so that's it for the steamer. And out of curiosity, I'm just gonna play with this real quick and see, are these lids interchangeable? So yeah, so the fit for the perfect pot as well as the always pin lid look like they're interchangeable, so you could always swap them if you ever wanted to. Um, they are very, a little bit different in design where the, the one does have this groove here, so, but, so you could always use this with the always pot, it looks like. Or always pan, sorry, I keep on this speaking. Um, but that is a cool function too. So um, that's everything as far as unboxing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hand wash these and we're going to start meal prepping with this and we'll see how this goes. I'm super excited. It's pretty cool, this whole experience. Okay, so real quick, I did want to show you what the Home Cook Duo looks like on my stovetop. And so you've got the perfect pot in blue and then this is the always pan in spice. Um, they kind of remind me of like a baby shower or gender reveal color where this is like blue for boy and this is spice for girl, but um, this is the combination. They've got a wide variety of color options so you can always check them out. Um, any of them I think would really go really well together, uh, but they do look very nice and elegant on the stovetop. And so what we'll do now is we'll start cooking